सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड थ्री थियरम वी हैव डन विथ थ्री थियरम दैट इज सुपर पोजिशन थियरम थेवन इन थियरम एंड नॉट एन थियरम all the three theorems we have done it and also brief problems and with all the problems we have tried to explain those three theorems very thoroughly you should be seeing those videos because those videos are very important one question would be sure from each of the theorem which i have told and i have tried to analyze the previous model paper model question papers and all the previous year question papers and from those only i have taken the sums and put it to you all and try to solve those sums for you so that uh, those kind of sums would be appearing in the exam okay also this videos you can share it with your juniors that is third sem students uh, and also you can study with your friends as well okay this is one reference so like this we have tried to cover three theorems this is the fourth theorem and very easy theorem nothing much in this okay it is similar to what uh, we have uh, done the source transformations right that concept only would be coming here okay we, we can either solve these kind of problems using source transformation directly but if you solve like that the answer we would be getting it as correct but we would they would not be giving you one single mark because for milman's theorem when if they mention solve using milman's theorem you should be solving using milman's theorem only i'm just telling you the equivalent method if you want to verify the answers you can use that uh, source transformation but for this we are having one set of formula which is very easy you can remember that okay so this is the milman's theorem here i'm uh, i'm telling you the statement here now it is possible to combine number of voltage sources or current sources into a single equivalent voltage source or current source using milman's theorem okay so here one complex network they would be giving you where you would be having either multiple voltage or current sources okay here the task in this milman's theorem is you should be converting that multiple voltage or current sources into a single equivalent voltage source or current source okay so that's all that's all the task okay so that's why i have told you we can use either source transformation and all how it is interlinked i'm interlinked i'm i'm going to tell you now statement if n number of voltage sources that is v1 v2 v3 up to vn having internal impedances or series impedances z1 z2 z3 up to zn respectively are in parallel then these sources may be replaced by a single voltage source vm having the series impedance zm where vm and zm are given by these two formulas okay one is for vm separately they have given one formula and one is for zm okay before that before going to that formula let's analyze this statement they have told us n voltage sources having internal imp impedances or series impedances that is are in parallel they also mentioned they are in parallel that is we can say that voltage source along with the series impedance are in parallel n number of voltage sources okay like this so like this would be one uh, single uh, circuit like this okay this would be the simple circuit they have told you to convert this to a equivalent single voltage source and equivalent single resistance so what comes to your mind if you see this circuit so we can use directly the source transformation that is this you can convert it to current source in parallel resistance all these three then what we can do is all those all all would be coming in one single parallel path all the currents you can add and convert it to a single current source all the resistors in parallel convert it to a single equivalent uh, resistance by taking the parallel resistors then what we would be getting one current source and one parallel resistance then we can convert that into voltage source and series resistance like this you can solve using source transformation that's true but if you solve like that answer you would be getting correct but the uh, method they which they mentioned here they have told using milman's theorem okay so that's why you won't be getting any marks for that here you have the formula separately using that formula only you should be solving okay nothing much this is the formula directly write all the values in the formula get the answer and finish your answer that's it okay let us now discuss the formula here so vm that is the equivalent voltage source vm that is having one formula that is v1 since this n number of voltage sources that is v1 v2 v3 that is v1 y1 so what is this y1 if someone is thinking that this is the admittance part okay y term is called as admittance okay and this admittance is the reciprocal of resistance that is we can say that y is equal to 1 by r admittance is the reciprocal of resistance where resistance unit is ohm right and the admittance unit is mo 
that is m h o the reverse part okay this y is called as the admittance that is the reciprocal of resistance divided by again y1 y2 y3 that is the reciprocal of resistance so that is in this way it's uh, summed up that is v1 y1 plus v2 y2 up to vn yn divided by y1 plus y2 plus y3 up to yn like this they have um, uh, so making made it a summation and wrote it the formula for vm hope this is clear okay so you should not be getting tensed by seeing this admittance because i have told you that admittance is the reciprocal of resistance whatever the resistance value is the, they have mentioned here we should be writing one by that resistance value and solving it okay very simple so this is the vm part similarly this is the zm part that is the equivalent impedance how to find that for that also we have one separate formula that is 1 divided by y1 plus y2 up to yn that is how many how much ever resistances they have mentioned all of them you should be doing 1 divided by then admittance that is 1 by that resistance you should be summing them up and like that way we would be getting our equivalent impedance then those two that is voltage source and the equivalent impedance uh, vm and zm write it in series and then finish your problem of millman's theorem okay this is very easy they have also mentioned you the proof part here where, uh, where y1, y2, yn are the admittances which I have told you corresponding to the impedances. So now consider this network here which I have already written it like this. Okay, that only they have mentioned it here if we, along with the series impedances like this. Okay, so what they have done? They have taken the source transformation which I, I have told you. Okay, that is source transformation so that they have converted in parallel resistances. Then add all the current sources which I have already told you. Okay. So like that they have mentioned it in this is just a proof part for the proof part they have applied the source transformation and solved it okay so like this like this what we would be getting add all the current after adding all the current sources we would be getting i1 plus i2 plus i3 up to in right then we should be im is equal to since we know that i is equal to v by r so that's why i1 would be replaced by v1 by z1 v2 by z2 v3 by z3 up to vm by zm right also we know that y1 is equal to 1 by z1 y2 is equal to 1 by z2 which i already told right that is the admittance part is the reciprocal of resistance or in this case it is impedance so that's why y1 would be equal to 1 by z1 1 by z2 here in all the cases so substitute that then what we would be getting our value of y im as v1 y1 plus v2 y2 plus v3 y3 up to vm ym that is this im part in this formula if you check it the numerator part here okay that I have written it here. Now, hence the effective current source across AB, that is IM and ZM, that is I have uh, did the equivalent part. Then here I have uh, converted this into the uh, final source transformation, I have done it, that is voltage source in series impedance. Now, here the 1 by ZM part, okay. Let us find that 1 by ZM part. 1 by ZM is equal to 1 by Z1, 1 by Z2 plus 1 by Z3 up to 1 by ZN, right. Where if we take this reciprocal that is zm that would be equal to 1 divided by all these terms so what we would be getting zm is equal to 1 divided by 1 by z1 is y1 which i already told you here that only i substituted so like this we have got the value of Z, zm as well right im as well as zm so now our goal is to find vm right so we know that v is equal to i into r according to ohm's law so vm would be equal to im into zm right so vm would be equal to im that is this part here i have written it then zm that is 1 divided by this part so if we uh, multiply these two we would be getting our final answer as like this right vm which i have already told you the formula so in this way we should be uh, proving the formula Okay, hope this is clear, the proof part, I have tried it to explain it, I have tried to explain it to you all. In this proof part, they have using, using the source transformation and proved it in order to get this formula, source transformation is required. Okay, so this is the proof part, so hope you understood this uh, proof part. So in the next session, we are going to solve uh, two problems using uh, Millman's theorem and we are going to wind it. Okay, so that's all for this session guys. Hope this Millman's theorem is clear to you all. Let's see you in the next session. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.